In this Blender 2.8 tutorial I will show you how to create pan and zoom slideshows. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I'm going to assume you have very lim limited knowledge of working in Blender, so some of the uh, motions I should go through may prove to be a bit annoying for those that actually know what they're doing. Apologise for that. OK. Remove the banner by hitting Return on your keyboard. There's a few things you need to set up in Blender, especially if you're going to use images in the video editor, because if you import them in um, or low, you can justify them. It only works if the image is smaller than the aspect ratio along the top or bottom, so that doesn't always work. So. Um, this way is one way you can actually create um, pan and zoom slideshows in Blender. There are a couple of other ways, but this is my preferred option. So without going over anything else, you'll need to think about a few things. So first of all, just remove the cube by pressing X on your keyboard, then left click on delete. And if you come over to the to the right hand side of the screen, there's a render properties button. This looks like a camera. Left click on this and just open up the color management box by left clicking on the little arrow. And you'll see something called viewpoint transform and it'll say filmic. You can leave it at this but it sort of darkens the image. So I would left click on filmic and then left click standard. Come down to the output properties box looks like a little printer and think about the frame rate you're going to use you can use this 24 fps not a problem but I'm going to just left click on 24 fps just to show you how to change the frame rate and I'll select 25 it also makes it easy because as a default blender um, sets up the amount of frames that you can render to um, to 250 so effectively that's 10 seconds although you can change this I'll show you how to change this later on okay um, you don't need the lamp either so I would just left click on the lamp and press X and delete it If you hold down shift followed by A, look to see if you've got something called image, because you'll need to be able to select images as planes. If you haven't, come up to edit, left click on this, and left click on preferences. Make sure you've selected the add-ons tab, and in the search box, type the word image. And you should see something called import, export, import images as planes. If there isn't a tick in this box, just left click so that you have a tick showing next to import, export, and then left click on save preferences. Now, the only other thing you may want to consider if you just select animation by left clicking on it, you'll see something called default interpolation and it will say Bezier and what this means is that any movements in Blender sort of eases in and eases out so it basically starts off from nothing, speeds up, sort of does a constant and then slows down to the final point which can look quite good for um, slideshows if you want to change it just left click on Bezier because otherwise you'll have to set up each image diff um, at each, um, every time you make a change you'll have to change this to, it to linear this way you, it won't, it'll do it 
for all of your changes. So if you left click on Bezier, you can select linear. Um, if you select linear, I'm going to leave this as Bezier. You need to make sure that you um, left click on save preferences because linear basically is a constant speed. Um, and that's all you need to do there. OK, close this down. We're nearly there. Um, press 7 on your numbers pad to go into um, top view and just come up to view hold your left mouse button down and next to align view left click on align active camera to view ok now you can do your pan and zoom um, slideshows because each one you'll be saving like this and then go into the video editor um, which we'll do in a minute or you can set up the video editor so that you can you've got a similar view to this it's up to you how you want to do it but what you'll need to do because you've set up quite a few things instead of going into video editor via a file you need to be to the left of scripting there's a little plus sign left click on this and next to video editing left click on video editing because otherwise if you go into new it will change your settings here um, ok drag this bar up so you can see this timeline here come over to the little folder at the top left it says file browser left click on this left click 3D viewpoint drag this over and just press 0 on your numbers pad and this will take you back into camera view I'm going to leave these gizmos here although you can close them off by left clicking on these highlighted buttons here so let's do our first animated uh, slideshow hold down shift followed by A and then next image left click on images as planes navigate to the folder where you your images are stored and if you want to see thumbnails of your images come over to this box here it says display mode left click on this and then left click thumbnails now we need to set up a few things here um, we only have to do this every time we won't have to do this every time so select shadeless principled means that it will cast shadows emit you can use because it turns it into a lamp but go for shadeless and also select camera and leave it at fill select an image and then left click on import images as planes there you probably won't be able to see the image so you can either press Z on your keyboard that's Z for zebra and then left click on material preview or just drag this bar along and select it up here ok make sure that you're at frame 1 you can left click on this arrow here or you can hold down shift in your left arrow button and there's a little button here with a white dot in it left click this this is auto keying and basically what this means is any change you make blender will remember it and put a keyframe there but if you don't move anything I'll show you in another um, image you'll have to manu manually set up the keyframe but in this instance I want to move this down slightly on its Y axis and this is why I left it up here you're looking for this one at the top because the keycast doesn't show a Y so I'm going to just press G followed by Y and then move my mouse so this lines up at the top make sure that the you don't see a white border because that uh, means you're inside the camera view and it will automatically set up a keyframe 
you'll see a little sort of yellow dot at the beginning and either use this button here or hold down shift and your right arrow and go to the end which is 250 frames and this time I'm going to press S to scale this up by moving my mouse left click to accept and then G and I'll grab this like that I think that's a bit too gone a bit too far here G again for grab and that will do for this exercise back to beginning again you can use this button or shift and left arrow and you can play backwards or forwards by using these buttons or it's just as easy to hit your space bar and then space to stop go back to the beginning now I think that's a little bit too slow so to change the time or the amount of frames you can either come up to this box here where it says N250 or this one here hold your left mouse button down and let's drag this down to 200 or there or thereabouts and you can roll your middle mouse in this box here to sort of zoom in and out of the view I'm going to hold my left mouse button down just above this yellow dot and I should be able to yeah there you are sometimes it moves the marker if you hold your left mouse button down you can select this yellow keyframe marker and just press G and grab this along sometimes it works by just left clicking on them it doesn't always but if it doesn't work you can just like I said draw a box over it and again shift left arrow go back to the beginning space and play and we'll leave that as it is OK that's your first image done top of the screen where it says scene left click and type in something you can easily recognize so I'm going to type in IM1 for image 1 hit return and then the little box says new scene left click and then left click full copy place your pointer in this box here press X and left click on delete I'm going to go back to the beginning by shift and my left arrow then shift A next to image images is planes and you should see a recent folder here so I'm going to select the folder I'm using and you won't need to set up shadeless or camera because you've already done that so let's go for this image here and then import images is planes now I'm not going to move this image so I need to set up a keyframe here um, otherwise if I sort of zoomed in um, it just I won't bother explaining why but it's just as easy just to put in a just type I on your keyboard and then left click lock block scale and that will put a keyframe in which basically means that the computer recognizes where your image is at this point and let's drag this along to here so it's say 100 and I'm gonna press S for scale drag this up to let's go for that that'll do for that scene and go to the end and this time I'm going to press G followed by X X-ray and we'll move it along back to the beginning 
let's play this okay I'm going to change the length of this again just to show you how to change the length because we've got this set up at about 200 so let's go back up to 250 there or thereabouts and I'm going to draw a box around this one and grab it over to 250 and let's play this see what happens okay should be able to left click on this one now and I'm going to grab this one over to now 125 let's play this again Yeah, that'll do. Now, don't forget, come up to the top of the screen, left click, and I'm going to type in IM2 and hit return. Left click on the folder, full copy. I'll do one more. So I'm going to press X and left click on delete. Let's go back to the beginning. Shift A, image as planes back to me folder and let's do this one here I'm going to move this on its Y axis by pressing G Y drag this down and we'll go to the end bearing in mind we're back on the 250 let's scale this right up we're pressing S and then G this is probably going to be quite grainy but anyway and back to the beginning spacebar to play and I think that's a bit quick so we'll take this up to I don't know let's go up to 300 press G the reason why this moved is because I'm not if you you're on the numbers it will basically move your uh, you need to make sure you're just below if you're going to select using your left mouse button okay back to the beginning and I think that's still too long so let's take this up a little bit faster, a little bit slower rather, so let's go up to 400 and again you should be able to select this by left clicking on it um, once you've done a box select if not just do a box select press G for grab and we'll move this along to here back to the beginning that'll do okay again don't forget save your chat your your scene so this will be IM 3 hit return full copy okay back to the beginning 
I know I'm not going to do any more because otherwise this tutorial will take too long. So what I'm going to do is you can either go to add and then next to scene you've got your scenes already set up or you can again hold down shift A and again next to scene we'll import image 1, 2 and 3. So to see the image um, or the, the slideshow effectively, you'll need to place this point to your pointer in this screen here. Press N, that's N for Nelly, and then Scene Preview. Next to Preview Shading, Solid, and then Material Preview, and then you can press N again. So I just opened this one up, but with your pointer in here, press N. I'll close this down by pressing N. And what I would do now, because you don't want them playing in both scenes, is I would actually just press X and left click on Delete. OK, now we just need to set this up. So this was the last one. So what I'm going to do for now, I'm going to just select this track here by left clicking on it and press G for grab and I'll move this over out the way a bit. Do the same for this one. So we'll place this one I don't know just overlap but I'm not going to be too fussy at this point. Grab this one Now setting up the end on Blender is, is a lot of different ways to do it but to be honest with you all I would do here is just drag this up till it comes to the end of your uh, track And with your pointer in this screen, just hold down shift followed by your right arrow and make sure that you're actually at the end. That will do for this. And the only other thing you can do, if you want, is you can do a crossfade. Now crossfade on Blender always works in the direction of travel. So you will need to first select the first clip, hold down shift, and select the second clip and then let's go just go to add and then fade sorry transition not fade go to transition and then left click on cross and then do the same and then add transition cross And what this will do is give you a crossfade over your videos. Don't expect Blender to play this very well. And that's basically how you do a slideshow and keep the aspect ratio correct in Blender, or one way of doing it. So I'm going to just quickly render this because, like I said, I assume you've got limited knowledge. So. Make sure you're in the output properties box and then next to TMP, this is in the output box, there's a little folder. Left click on this and navigate to a place you want to save your video. So let's go for desktop and make life easy and quick. I'm just going to press SS1, you can call it what you want, and left click on accept. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail on um, rendering video but the one thing you will need to do is change the file format from PNG because if you leave it at PNG what you'll end up with in this instance is 791 images which is fine for certain things but not for a video so left click on PNG 
just left click on FF MPEG. Now you can change the format, but one thing I would do, because I know one of the images is a bit grainy, so I'm going to just left click on encoding, and this is where you can change your formats. But I'm going to leave everything the same apart from the output quality. I'm going to left click on medium quality and left click on high quality. The other thing is older versions of Blender sometimes set up the um, percentage as 50. Make sure you're at 100%. Um, and that's basically it. So all you need to do now is just top of the screen, left click on render and then make sure you left click render animation and then go away for a world cruise and by the time you come back Blender will have um, rendered your animation. I'll come back to this when it's finished. Once Blender is finished rendering you can close this box down and hopefully You should have created your first successful slideshow in Blender, complete with crossfade. These images are a little bit uh, pixely, but uh, hopefully that gives somebody a bit of knowledge. Thank you for watching. Cheers.